Alrighty, welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy 16. It is finally here. I'm ready to go. Very quickly before we start, I did not play the demo. I only watched like two trailers and I pretty much only watched them once just for the excitement of it and didn't watch it again. So I'm going in completely 100% blind here. Um, and secondly, this is not going to be part of Fantathon. It's not going to be part of our normal Friday series. This is going to be its own Let's Play, and it's going to be every day. So we start today, and the next week, starting Monday, all day, every day, we're playing until we're done with it, and the episodes will go up on YouTube as quickly as I can get them up. With that being said, here we go. Um, like I said, I'm completely blind, so no spoilers for backseating, please. But I will ask... Uh... Is there a video at the start of the game that spoils everything like Square Enix normally does? <laughs> should I skip? Should I skip the opening? Because Square Enix loves to have openings that just show the entire game. I'm a little nervous this one's going to as well. Okay, so far so good. So far we're okay. Uh, subtitles, yes. Yes. Game performance, yes. Please perform. I'm going to pick frame rate. I always pick frame rate, especially given that I'm only at 2K anyways. You guys can only see one, 1080, so. Uh, visual alerts. The heck? Enable an on-screen waveform that provides visual representation of in-game sound. That's cool. That's really cool. Love to see accessibility settings. This is that picture I took. I took a snapshot of that demo for the the thumbnail and they like stole my snapshot. What are they doing? Begin the game equipped with several accessories that simplify gameplay. Recommended for those. Yeah, okay. So normal. Oh, I have a cursor? Is this like their attempt to make it more PC friendly? Right, I'm ready. It was Moss the Chronicler who I'm said turn it up. that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Sounds really stars. quiet. I'm gonna keep an eye on it though. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. So referencing the old crystal legends. Okay, that's really loud. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave it here. That looks good. Oh my god. Is that Ifrit? Because he looked like a crusty dinosaur. Oh my god, this is looking like an anime battle. I'm I'm shooting the fireball? Okay. Sure, why not? This still looks like the cutscene, but I'm playing it. Talk about action game right off the start. Ain't no turn based here. Oh, letting us know right away. Man. I know this is the boomer talking, but this like seamless transition between action and cutscenes is something that they wanted to do in the old game so bad and couldn't. And 
now they finally can. I mean, 15 did it too. Republic. They have the same scar. Oh, it's not a scar. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. I like their armor. I was going to say that too, the dialogue's kind of quiet, but that's just modern gaming, I swear. Movies, movies and games, I swear everyone whispers. <laughs> Tries to be crazy. That's why I always play with subtitles now. Never hear what people are saying. Yeah, maybe I should turn up the speech. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I like his voice. I said focus, Wyvern. I am. Clive. Don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Why do you have to tell me that? It says that in the bottom right hand corner. Time to move. <laughs> oh my god, a corridor. Just in time. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, see, it's definitely definitely looks loud enough. It's just dialogue is quiet because video games. But let me know if I should turn it up. On my end, it looks good though. Giant magical catapult. Oh, did you hear? There was a little bit of Final Fantasy theme in the background there. There it is again. A little bit of prelude in there. These are in blood and more beasts than man. Alright, I'll turn up a little bit. They won't need this new dominant of theirs. Just because of how much they whisper. What? Thanks, guys. Through the gates! Quickly! Move! What do you mean, you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest.
That's the most Square Enix looking character. Man, the animations are so good. Would you like some crystal juice? I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Everyone disrespects this guy. Which just leaves me. Topka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. one way to put it. Benedict. <laughs> Should have said rooster. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta, but I will need someone to warm me when I come home. That was a strange change in her demeanor. Man, I'm getting so excited. I love these characters already. They're all so the colorful. Gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Not the chaos. I was gonna say that guy kind of looked like a super buff Jack. <laughs> but I didn't have time to say it because things were going on. But his face kind of reminded me of Jack. Yeah. He's like Jack, but with actual like features that are memorable instead of just being like a default character. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to enjoy the game right now. I'm not trying to get, like, super technical or anything, but, man, the animations in that cutscene and just the way everything looks and the way that the characters are, like, super memorable right off the bat just from their look, like, I am already super excited. Also, <laughs> from the trailers, from the early trailers that I watched, I got a big, like, Game of Thrones vibe. And I've never watched Game of Thrones, but obviously I've, like, seen it because we've all seen it because it was, like, literally everywhere for a while. And I gotta say, like, that first cutscene, big Game of Thrones vibes. Like, the, just the way the characters interact and, like, you know, they're all sitting at a table and... You will not 
top that way, and then secrets behind, you know, walking right outside the door and being having like secret relationship. Like it's very Game of Thrones feeling. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Could be. And quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. I mean, surely it had to be at least inspired or like something. I mean, this is Square Enix we're talking about. Japanese company, not Wait. American, but something's not right. That's a hand. Oh, here comes the Titan. chanting. I was waiting for the chanting. In Square Enix, we gotta have chanting. <laughs> and look who's here to greet the bastard. Oh, here we go. They got TBN. Oh my god. Come on. This is literally a they have TBN moment. She looks so good. Very Final Fantasy X looking with the cape, but not just a copy of X's, like totally different looking. Titan looks very different as well. I like it way better. I like this Titan a lot. Look at his mouth. Looks like a demon. Punch your icicles right in the face. I'm a Super Saiyan. Well, <laughs> jump. I'm loving the summon design. I feel like what they were going for is... They look like the summons we know, but at the same time, they look very alien. And it kind of... Drives home the idea that, like, we are not... Like, the, like, they are very alien to us. They're not just an extension of our power, they're like their own thing. So they, they don't look natural. They look like they would have no problem killing us at any moment, you know? Much scarier. The old summons feel more like an extension of our power, extension of humanity. These things feel like completely different. Even Shiva, just like stone face when she was fighting them. When she was fighting Titan. Yikes. Holy crap. <laughs> I was expecting him to save him like he did the super speed before. Instead, he splatted into a mist of blood. Holy cow. I 
told you before, you do not get to die here. The game's definitely earning its mature rating. Brother. Brother, brother, or brother in arms? Oh, he's a little baby now. Thirteen summers earlier. Rosaria? Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. Oh, look at the doggo. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Pet dog now streamer. I can't. It's cutsy. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Here we go. Tutorial. See, I knew this was going to happen because, like I said, when we were playing 13, whenever Final Fantasy implements a new type of gameplay, they always do this, which is fine. But they always try to start really slow. They're, they're very big proponents of, like, we want everyone to understand the game. They did it with Kingdom Hearts. They did it with Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy 12, Final Fantasy 10. It's always a very slow, methodical, we want to make sure you understand the game exactly. We do not want to just throw you in. And especially with Final Fantasy, they do it. So, I expected this. I'm going to not do that and go pet the dog. Doggo! Where's he at? Show me the doggo. Show him to me! Go on, Clive. I can't... The camera's playing me, guys. I can't. There he is. I can't pet him, but I can look at him. That's I the most... I, asked to see your I believe I asked to see the dog. Mm. Once more, please. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Excellent. Oh, my God. That's just like, boop. Reminds me of that. Reminds me of that new game coming out. Where you blast stuff with your hands, but that game looks terrible. It's a lot better. <laughs> well done. How's it going, RJP? You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Got him. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all. Your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. Finally, the Dragon Ball Z game we've all been waiting Your for. Toes, Lord Rossfield. Clive Rossfield. Being an attack of the price. Oh, yes. My favorite mechanic in every action RPG ever. I'm already sold. I'm already sold. I just love precision dodging so much because it it's such a great way to incentivize the player to actually learn attacks and not just blindly dodge. And it 
rewards you for understanding the enemy, Remember, Clive, which is what every action RPG should do. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Well, I'm waiting. Let's think of the Phoenix against Clyde, the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix Shift is one such iconic feat. A circle to sli swiftly close it on target. Melee and ranged attacks can be used while executing a Phoenix Shift. Look at all our shields could move so swiftly. Is it always... Yeah, it's always in. Yeah, it can't be a modern Final Fantasy without some teleports. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Learn how to use the potions? Yeah, apologies if you get timed out. My mods are making sure to keep all spoilers out of the chat, so sometimes they have to time out things that may or may not be a spoiler. But you will not be banned or anything. You'll just get timed out. You'll be perfectly fine to talk still. We're just trying to make sure that since we just started the game, we got to be a bit more trigger happy. Consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP. So, Kingdom Hearts. Well, actually, it looks like you have three options at all times. That's kind of nice. Uses it so fast. That's better. I like how he crushes it instead of drinking it. Succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Man, the game really does look really quiet. Like the cutscenes are so loud, but the not cutscenes are so quiet, and I don't know what what I should do with the audio. Like, we're sitting quite a bit lower than I normally have it, but I don't want to, like, deafen everyone when the cutscenes happen. I'm going to turn it up at least a little bit more. Ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rosfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, yeah. then prove it. I probably need to go into the settings. As you wish, my lord. Hey, boy. Make proof of your strength. No. Oh. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back, break their uh, stagger. <laughs> Figured they'd have something. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're vulnerable. Ooh, look at this menu. This looks very unique. Wait, is that like a snapshot of me right now? Oh my god, it is. That's kind of cool. Uh, wait, what is that? What is that 16-bit looking icon in the bottom right-hand corner? Okay, Square. Little nostalgia trigger. <laughs> uh, okay, I wanted to go here. Wait, I get a different... What the... 
interesting. Looks like you can save and load whenever, too. Uh, okay, yeah, that's one problem. Let's turn that up. And then maybe... Maybe I'll just do this. Just so the voices are a bit louder. <laughs> I like their little, like, the dog jumps over the log text. Okay, this looks better. Ow. I'm looking at the audio, don't whack me. I'm just waiting for the cutscenes to deafen us, but... So it doesn't seem to be a block, just a dodge, which I'm okay with. Oh man, I love the little, like, pew, fire in the middle of a combo. Oh, nice freeze frame there. Lord Monarch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Use R2 square to execute Rising Flames, a powerful, iconic ability granted Clyde by the Blessing of Fiend. Holy crap. Yep, that was strong. I love how you can combo into the magic. <laughs> whack, whack, fire, whack, whack, fire. Oh man, the combat already feels really fun. Chanting. Even the dog's happy for me. Best is at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame, and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. Okay, why would you say that, though? What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push it. It's never just a cold. His grace has returned. Father's back. Hey. <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you. Our your what? Grace, we live to serve. <laughs> Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Out of I'm doors. Sorry. I love the language. Good day to you, mother. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Wow. 
<laughs> Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. Man, it is so impressive the facial like a way to treat emotion they're able to give. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. <laughs> Almost as good as tactics. Almost. So epic. Look at that chocobo. He's good to his chocobos. I like this guy. Rise, my friends. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust? Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? The dog. Quiet, dog. Stop it, boy. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. You pet the doggo, best dad. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. <laughs> Shields dismissed! Clive gives off this impression of, like, he doesn't want to follow the... You know... Your Grace, Your Excellency verbiage, but he does anyways. Where do you think you're going, hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Which is common of the... son of a... leader. To be that way. To the point where it's practically a... gimmick that it's like that always. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust your animal instinct. Wait, we're animals? Point you in the right direction. Thank God we have waypoints. I'm not sure. I do like how open this area looks, though. Even with the waypoint. <laughs> I, I'm talking about waypoints because we were talking about Final, we were playing Final Fantasy 13 earlier. Waypoints aren't a bad thing. We were just kind of talking about them during 13, so it's just funny that it, like, popped up right away. Anyways, uh, I did want to mention, for those of you that don't know, my education background is in communication. And so, a lot of times when I play these newer games, especially, like, um, uh... Forbidden West, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, I like to look at the the animations and how animations have gotten far enough now where developers can really give certain emotions and thoughts through characters' faces without having to say them outright, which is not something they could really do before this. Um, you know, back in the PS2, PS3 era, you could get away with that somewhat, but they kind of had to be super obvious about it. 
Uh, you know, for example, if a character is maybe secretly angry at another character, it wasn't enough to just have like a frowny face because the PS3 didn't have the ability to really hit all the muscles that kind of give that persuasion away. So instead, they would have some kind of physical, like, cross their arms or something, you know? Something that is super obvious, right? But it's really cool to see nowadays where, you know, that look that his mom gave him, they didn't do anything with her body. It was just her look. But it was like daggers. Like, we all felt it when she looked at him. It was like this, I am going to actually kill you <laughs> look, you know? Um, so it's just really cool, and especially with my background and kind of knowing a lot about like nonverbal communication and stuff. It's just really cool to see how far it's gone. You know, we have the Squall face palm back in Final Fantasy VIII, and now we've gotten all the way to, you know, we can just have just the character's face, and there's enough there to where we can really get the uh, the message that they're trying to give without it being over exaggerated. All right, it's just a really cool Let's thing. Wow, items. I've never played a video game before. Please explain more. What are these items you speak of? Is that an item? Strange, he has the marking. But he's a peasant. Forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. Is he gonna spill the apple? <laughs> it was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> Watch those apples. Something unique about him, obviously. See the guy from the beginning? He looked like him. Yeah, they're definitely setting us up as, like, you know, the prince that... I mean, he seems like he, he like, loves his father and likes his position, but at the same time, he's not so formal. He's very, like, I don't want people to bow down to me kind of deal. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. I'm having my bearer filled with well. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Yes. This is the goofiest looking jump I've seen in a while. Come on, dude. You can't jump higher than that. That's like... He's barely getting off the ground. <laughs> Why even have a jump? Yeah, it's more of a skip. Yeah, loving this world already. Phoenix will be with us. Those savages don't stand a chance. All right. Let's get this stuff 
And to be completely honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of like this kind of like Final Fantasy 12 as well, the kind of more political side of medieval stories. But this medieval setting I love. Pretty much love everything about the and, and this brings me back, you know, when we first saw the, the first trailers of the game, it brought me back to that Final Fantasy IX era of medieval, but also magic. And I'm so glad we went back to that, you know, the the more modernization of the um, the worlds I liked, but I'm glad we're back away from the sci fi and more back to the old style of medieval, but magical. And not even this doesn't even look like like this is past Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX was more steampunky medieval mixed with steampunk mixed with magic. This is just straight medieval. <laughs> this is just straight. Looks like Final Fantasy One, straight medieval. Again, and I'm down for it. What is that? I see an item. Wait, I see an item. I mean, they said they kind of wanted this to be a bit of a return in terms of the setting and stuff, and I totally see it. And also the kind of tagline of the game when you go back to the menu. Never mind, it doesn't show it anymore. The, uh, I think it's in the store. The tagline of the game is... Uh, the legacy of the crystals has shaped our history for long enough. So it's kind of got this like... It wants to go back to the legacy of the crystal, but at the same time it's like... Uh, a spin on it, you know. Also, I meant to mention, we're playing the digital version. I ordered a physical version and get ready for the biggest shock of the year. Amazon did not get it to me in time. I know. Gasp in the chat. <laughs> so it's supposed to be here Monday, so I don't know. We might be able to check it out Monday, but whenever it does get here, we'll check out the physical version. But uh, we're playing the digital version because my physical version didn't get here in time, so I had to buy it twice. Let's freaking go. And I got the regular version, not the deluxe version, because the deluxe version was, I think, 20 extra dollars or 10 extra dollars. But all it had was digital soundtrack, digital art book. That's all you got, Wheat which is down again, laughable. This war ends up dragging on the starve. Why do they call it Animal Instinct? Uh, do we need a, like a in-universe explanation? It, you could just say point to the waypoint. <laughs> it's like they're trying to cover it up. Like, no, 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 it's an ability he has. Okay. No. It's just modern gaming, okay? Nice and quiet Call what it is. Isn't it? There's Joshua. Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. So I'm trying to put together the, uh, how the magic works. I don't want to say too much yet, because I don't know if we're supposed to know yet, but it seems like you have the Dominant, who is, like, either literally the summon, or, like, what the su like, like, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, the, the person that holds the summon inside of them, and then it's, like, released. Um, and then there's also, like, the Order of the Summon, who seems to have magical powers from the Summon, but they don't have the Summon. And at first I was thinking it was just, yeah, Vessel, that's a good word for it. Um, at first I was thinking it was, like, 
everyone that was like the army that's with them they somehow get the power like maybe through the crystals or something like the dominant powers up the crystals and then the army like takes some of the power and they get the abilities but now i'm thinking maybe it's just the family members maybe like it's a blood thing like the family members get the power of the summon but then the vessel is like the summon itself i don't know I'm still trying to put it all together the one guy several people have had like magic but it seemed like they needed a crystal and it seems like i don't need a crystal so maybe that's part of it i don't know Oh god, are we gonna get yelled at? The power of the Phoenix dwells within Joshua, and Joshua alone. If any ill should befall him, it will be on your head. Do not neglect your duties again. Yes, Your Grace. And she is just frightening. I love it. Such a cool character, like the frightening woman in power. Is like one of the coolest archetypes of a character. So many cool things you can do with it. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Did we need a tutorial for that? <laughs> Here's how to open doors. Like, okay, listen, I, I'm not going to harp on this all game long. But at least give me my time to do it now. You telling me if I walk up to that door and a giant circle with an R2 appears in it, there's a single person on the planet that's not going to know what to do. <laughs> Dude, you would rather have two sentences of explanation. Come on, give me a break. Modern gaming. Good luck. Oh my god, he's so cute. Stop it. I'm not going to want to go back to the future. <laughs> Let's stay in this time period forever. You commanded my presence, your grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Yeah, I see. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. Flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors. Oh my god, yes. goblins. <laughs> then you know what must be done. I will give you two good Gotta go clear out the goblins. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. Gotta have goblins. 
<laughs> At least it's not rats. Your strength and shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. I need you to go clean out the sewers. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. <clears throat> 